Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I'm Jess and today I'm going to be playing with the Tarte Icy Betch Palette. I picked this guy up just a little while ago. I've had it for a month or two, not too, too long. Um, I did do a video using it already. I did a really pretty blue eyeshadow look. I'll link that down below if you're interested to see it. If you haven't seen the palette before, it's a blue and green toned eyeshadow palette. It's got a couple of colors, one big old highlight. And yeah, this is what we're going to be using today. So. I wanted to play with this and in particular what I want to do is use different primers on my eyes. So I don't know if you guys saw but the balm came out with the palette just a little while ago. I personally didn't pick it up because I didn't feel like you know it was something that I didn't have anything like it but it did intrigue me. So I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, it's called like it's a tea or something and what really intrigued me is that it has two different primers. So one of them is black and then I can't remember if the other one is white or like a tan color. So I have these two Jumbo NYX pencils. Uh, one of them is in the color Milk and the other one is Black Bean. So I want to try doing a look, so the same eyeshadow look, but have the white primer on one eye and then the black primer on the other and I want to see if it actually makes a difference. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Before we get started though, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I upload my videos here on YouTube twice a week. You can find me here on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that we can chat whenever you want. All right, you guys, let's get started. So right eye is going to be white and then the left is going to be the black. This doesn't really like tug at the eye too much, but it's not super duper smooth. Like you can see it kind of like sticks a bit. This one actually feels a lot smoother. I'm using the Sigma E55 and I'm just going to like buff the edges a bit so it's not like super duper jagged. And then I'm just going to wipe it off on this face halo. And then do the same to the other eye. Actually, this one's pretty good. Okay, what should we do? I'm going to take this color here, Aria, and use my finger and place it all over the lid. Oh, oh wow. Dang, okay, so um, makes a difference. Mm -hmm. This one's like cobalt blue. Oh my goodness. How interesting. I didn't actually think it would make that much of a difference. Am I dumb? And I kind of like the like black at the edges. It looks cool. <laughs> I like them both, but like this one's like, oh, just gorgeous. I'm gonna wipe this off and use this other color, Vivi, no, Cheryl, Cheryl, and just put that on the edge of this one because I think it would look kind of cute. Same thing, just using the E55, just wiped it off. Cool. Okay, so I'm not going to bother doing the rest of my makeup because I'm going to take this off. I'm not I'm not going to go out like this. <laughs> I'm weird, but I'm not this weird. Um, but yeah, how fun, right? Okay, so definitely the black and white make quite a difference. Um, I really want to try doing it with like everything. <laughs> um, but my goodness, I didn't expect it to be such a black and white difference, you know? This one is just so, so like deep and vibrant and like this one's a lot lighter and softer and how cool is that, huh? Have you guys ever done this? Is this like something that everyone's been doing for such a long time and I'm just like been living under a rock this whole time? Like Patrick. But yeah, I think this is really, really cool. I think it's super interesting. I have to say my favorite is this one, but I mean, I kind of feel like they're totally different. Like this is like more of like a daytime look and this is more of like a nighttime look. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off and then I'm gonna try it with this super bright one because um, I wanna see. Okay, so I wiped it all off and now I'm gonna go in with this bright like teal aqua color called Becky and I'm gonna do the same thing.
Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Hmm. It is a little bit harder with this color. Okay, it's definitely easier with the metallic colors to do it on the black. So totally, totally different. Um, definitely easier to do it on the white one than the black one. It's easier to like kind of mess it up on the black one. And um, just in general, the metallic was able to like glide on a lot easier than this kind of matte color. But yeah, how fun. I wanna do one more. I kinda wanna do two, but I'm gonna do one. <laughs> Otherwise my eyelids are like gonna fall off my face. So I'm gonna do this metallic one here. Miranda. This one right here, so it's like a really pretty like seafoam green. Hmm, it's kind of more like emeraldy or like grass green. Wow, look at that. Yeah, how freaking cool is that? All right, so the white, it just seems like it really just makes it more true to color than what's in the pan, which honestly, that's what I expected. Um, but the black really makes it like totally, totally different. I love it. This green is like kind of like emerald green. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I really hope that the camera is picking up on how different these two are. So, so cool. Okay, last one. <laughs> All right, I want to do this one here, Cheryl. It's a very pretty blue. This guy right here. Look at that. Okay, that's the last one I'm gonna do because otherwise my like eyelids are gonna fall off. Okay guys, so that is gonna be the last color that I do. My eyes feel fine, but I feel like if I just keep doing it and keep doing it, they're gonna get irritated and I don't really want that. Um, so yeah, I basically did all of the metallic colors in here other than this blue one, but it looks so darn similar to the top one that it's probably the same. I also didn't really feel like doing the white one, although I bet you that would look really nice over the black. So that being said, the metallics were much easier to work with than that one matte that I did. But even so, the colors, it's so cool to see like what the different bases actually do for the color. So for me, this was a totally new thing, a very new learning experience for me. Leave me a comment down below. Have you heard of this for a long time? Do you do it yourselves? Am I late to the party? What's going on? Leave me a comment. I would love to chat with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you back. All right, you guys, take care. Bye. That's Max. Oh, uh, you can't see Milo. He's on the ground. Just leave it there. A little eyeshadow palette. It's got some blues, blues, blues. <laughs> I wish these things like you could turn it up. We basically did all uh, So I think, <laughs> what am I gonna do with my life? I'm gonna go with this one.